Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Uh, we just were 24 minutes into the day after Christmas right now. Uh, we got a lot going on this week. So we have UR Shadow Links was announced. We have a Visual Back campaign. Uh, we also had a Roki address the uh, Addison Ray situation, which was uh, really cool to see him talk about it and talk about um, like the business decisions that went into that. So uh, we'll go ahead and talk about all of that. Uh, let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> First off, for those of you guys that are not aware, uh, I am sponsored by the Amazon App Store. So uh, if you guys do want to save 20% on Amazon coin purchases, uh, you can go to dig.gs slash offer. Uh, the link will be in my description as well as in the pinned comment section down below. Uh, for those of you guys that use the Amazon App Stores, you can save 20% on in-game purchases and more of the visions. They also are really good at supporting content creators. So definitely go and check this out. Uh, if you want to learn how to transition from other app stores to the Amazon App Store, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, all of these countries are supported and it is really easy and it's a really great way to save money. And even if there's a special dealing game you can even save more sometimes they do uh special like black friday events and stuff too so 100 would recommend it you can also get to this page by going to the qr code if dig.gs slash offer does not work for you uh so go and check this out so the question is should you pull for ur shadow links uh I, the answer is in the air right now it's a difficult thing to say uh she is a very interesting unit so uh just taking a look at her she's a dark pierce unit but she has access to uh slashing abilities she has access to missile based abilities uh and she has a lot of multi-hit attacks so her lb is going to be a two hit lower agility and dark resistance uh she has a triple hit called triple sequence uh which is going to lower reaction ability activation she has a buff which raises own area area attack resistance and missile resistance uh gives jump plus run and bestows ap recovery on critical hit uh, she's really a mixed bag and it's pretty cool. I think whenever you have three different attack types that you can kind of utilize and switch between, especially since we do have, you know, other dark units that all use slash that use missile, uh, it makes her a really good introductory, I would say dark pierce unit. And while we do have units like Kane, right? Uh, we very rarely actually see dark pierce being utilized a lot. So very cool uh, to have her come out. And she's of course coming with her VC, which I love the art on this. It has dark shadow links on the other side um, of shadow links on ice. Uh, it's gonna give missile attack resistance up and attack up. It's also gonna give critical damage up. And there's gonna be for sword users, such as red mages, uh, spears, ninja blade, gloves equipable with main job. Uh, missile attack resistance up, good, um, especially with the dominance of Eli Elia and Eliza. I feel like we do see more missile-based units. Uh, of course, we still have Joker running around as well. And while those might not be meta teams, I do feel like you see them quite a bit. Uh, you also want to consider that Satia will also be making a comeback uh, when we do get Yuffie. We see a lot of Satia being out right now. Uh, the individual unit's going to get agility up as well. And Shadow Links and the OG Shadow Links are going to get dark attack up. So overall very cool um i definitely support these changes and along with all this we are getting all of the other global original units coming out as well uh now we do have a couple other things going on here uh trust alchris and um the trust on refinement chamber is going to get uh double drops we have a new login bonus uh, and then we also have the Vizior back campaign which is something a lot of people were waiting for i remember last week we were saying wait on pulling if you're going to pull for revise because we don't know you are shadow links and we don't know if the Vizior camp back campaign is going to show up and here is that Vizior back campaign so uh, the time to pull is going to be now. One note as well, UR Shadow Links is going to be a 100 cost unit, so she will be a little bit more difficult to pull than the others. Uh, we do have new story releases and new mastery abilities. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over those masteries here in just a second. Uh, we have new arena map updates, which is going to be Pierce Attack Up and Dark Units HP Up. Now, for those of you that were upset about the Addison Ray controversy and all that, I would highly encourage you to go watch the uh, Hiroki video. I actually think... 
Um, it was handled very well. I think most of us um, that kind of saw the Addison Ray, I think a lot of people were kecking about it, right? Uh, but I think there were people who were genuinely upset, and I think there were a lot of people who didn't understand uh, the way that Square Enix was trying to market to a different audience, uh, right? Because a lot of us are older, we don't use TikTok. Uh, that's just the reality, right? The reality is like the global user base of War of the Visions is significantly you know, about 30 and above. And I can even see it in my uh, viewer statistics between War of the Visions and Nino Kuni. Um, it's amazing, you know, in my viewer statistics, the difference between them. So uh, just something to consider, something to think about. Uh, it was really an interesting um, kind of response. And while it was definitely articulated and scripted, um, it's pretty much exactly what a lot of people kind of expected. And it was really nice uh, to hear him talk about it because he talked about the poll, he talked about the update, why they made this decision, uh, so on and so forth. Now, let's talk about some of the other mastery upgrades that came out here. Uh, so we are getting an upgrade to Camillo and Moraga. Uh, Moraga originally just had attack 20% and the Earth Allies buff. Uh, he's going to get a physical damage barrier, which reduces 50% of damage three times. Uh, he's going to get HP 15%, slash resistance 10%, missile resistance 10%, increased chance of being targeted plus three three all of these are great things moraga is an incredible unit i've been a fan of moraga for a long time even though i can't finish his damn select quest right now to max out his piece of equipment uh maybe i'll be able to once this update comes through and while he's never going to be like a pvp mega chad unit uh, i think he is really essential in pve content uh and he's very reliable in like earth slash chaining um or other you know situations where you need you know a unit besides mont if you want to run like a brawler earth build camillo also going to be getting a buff here uh, he gets agility 10 percent and increased dark resistance 20 percent I bet you, you could probably get a really high dark resistance build on Camillo. Uh, previously, when Camillo was originally released, I built him to be anti Black Rose Helena because that's how long ago it was that he released. And he had a lot of dark, like you could stack a ton of dark resistance on him. So I would be curious to see how he would stand up against potentially um, this maybe new wave of dark units that might be coming uh, with UR Shadow Links coming out. Uh, finally, we did get an upgrade to the Silent Solarits as well. They did become plus one. Uh, they have a Chonky 17 defense for Spirit on them, 509 HP. Uh, for Velne, the worst unit in the game, uh, is going to increase defense penetration 50, increase uh, human killer 15 for physical attacks, defense debuff resistance 100. She's still garbage. She gets a little bit better when she gets her class upgrades. She's a garbage unit. I've never used her. I would rather use a limb or any of the other MR lightning units. Um, swear to God, garbage unit. You'll never use Velne. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so of course can have single target resistance 10 and critical evasion 20. I know all of my Velne sims out there, if you guys have uh, gotten this far in the video, you're probably like, got your pitchforks out, you're gonna charge me. To be honest, that's gonna be as useless as Velne's spear is against opponents. So thanks so much for watching you guys, and I will catch you all next time.